Yo, what is good, YouTube? We are back with another video. This is going to be episode 12, I think, of the Trading Den V2. We're back with another video. It is going to be the standard deviation video, how I get price projections and how to use standard deviations. If you guys are not in the free Discord, go join it. It is the first link down below. We are going to be going over this, right? If you want the settings, here they are, right? Screenshot them, do whatever you want with them. So what is standard deviations, right? So let's say that price has an accumulation period and we manipulate, right? Taking out all these swing lows into a key PD array and then we displace back inside the range continue, right? This right here is gonna be your manipulation leg. So what you wanna do is take it from the swing low to the swing high and then you will get these price projections. So accumulate, manipulate, distribute. So these price projections are gonna be negative two, negative two and a half and then these two up here, negative three and a half and negative four. The negative two and two and a half are going to be your retracement slash reversal area. Now, what you will most likely see with these are they are going to align with a higher time frame PD array. Fair rally gap, higher low. Excuse me. So right here at this negative two, two and a half is going to be your reversal retracement area. That if we do start respecting this, right? If we get this kind of price action, this means it's probably a retracement, right? If we accumulate and don't turtle soup a high, right? We just accumulate and then come down. Where we are gonna be going is most likely gonna be equilibrium of the price leg. That turtle soup the low into the expansion high, right? The turtle soup creates your new dealing range. And before we keep going with this video, let me actually pop a Zimbabwe real quick. All right. Boom, Zimbabwe in the lip to keep going with this video, right? Now, if we do give a retracement, you wanna be looking for a higher time frame PD array for a value gap and equilibrium, right? This is gonna give you your expansion higher and then continue to negative three, three and a half or the daily draw on liquidity, right? Now, if we disrespect negative two, two and a half, you can guarantee that we're going to negative four, which is your max expansion slash terminus, right? This is gonna be where you don't wanna be holding any longer, right? Negative four is going to be your max expansion. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying that we can't just go straight through it, right? We could just go straight through it, but we aren't going to be going as quickly as we'd like. So negative four is going to be your terminus slash max expansion zone, right? So now that we have gone over this, let's just go over this week's PA, right? How to anchor these fibs. So if we just go into the 15 minute and I have not uh, went over this PA with standard deviations yet. So I don't know if this is going to look good. Um, so what do we have right here in this period, right? It's right before market open right around here. 930 is right here. We have this accumulation, right? We're just accumulating here. No higher time frame PD array. We have a swing low here, right? But we're not giving an expansion anywhere right here when we take this high, right? So we have accumulation. into manipulation turtle souping these highs so this swing low to this swing high is going to be your manipulation leg right so what do you want to do high to the low standard deviation where do we go negative two two and a half now what did i say higher time frame key level we have a fair value gap right here now the next interesting thing is going to be did we come to equilibrium of this dealing range low to this high right because this is the last low that turtle souped into the expansion. So measure from here to here. Oops. Yes, we hit equilibrium. So we hit a discounted PD array. So after that, what do you want to look for? Well, this is a great area for us to reverse. So there's no prominent swing high. So let's go to the one minute. Right here, this high to this low. This is going to be your manipulation leg standard deviations what does it align with this buy side level do we get there oops this buy side yes we do and then we chill out the rest of the day so right there negative two two and a half reversal hit negative two two and a half buy side close out the day right there bang 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 let's go to thursday now Thursday is going to be a little tricky. Why? Look at this expansion overnight, right? If I turn on these boxes, we can just measure Asia to New York open, which is right here, 915. 380 points overnight. 
So what would we expect from New York? Well, we're not going to expect a large expansion, but can we still use these? Yes, we can. Now, I'm not going to measure this high to this low. Why? Because we've had a huge expansion already. So I would not expect a large expansion during New York. So what do we do with these lows? Turtle soup. Why? Higher time frame, key level. I remember this. Uh, where is it? Right there. One hour fair value gap. Right there. So what do we do? Tap, expand. What, do, what would I measure here? I would measure the bodies, right? I would measure the bodies because this swing is too large for us to actually expand to, right? If I do this, we would be looking at 20,291, which would be a what? If I measure from this low to this high, a 612 point move. I would not expect that for, no, I just wouldn't expect that. So I would measure the bodies because this manipulation leg is too big. Where, where do we go? Negative two, two and a half. What do we do? This is the last load that turtle souped to an expansion. Equilibrium, fair value gap, go back up, take this high. Now we don't get up to negative three, three and a half. Once again, I wouldn't expect us to because we had such a big expansion. But right there, you see negative two, two and a half, retrace, take this high once again, and then we just fizzle out the entire rest of the day. Now, where do we go for this? We close out at equilibrium. So, bang, bang. Now, let's do Wednesday. Actually, let's not. Actually, let's try. It was FOMC, right? So, let's see if there was a manipulation during FOMC. Um, so, when FOMC launched... There's nothing down here. <clears throat> right here. This is the high to this low to this high, right? This is the last high that took out a previous swing high. So I would use this. Let's see if we get to negative two, two and a half. Bang. Wow. Do we? Let's put on prices. 678.25 the low of this is 678 so we hit negative two and then we go back higher right there if you took a short in this area negative two would have been your target bang bang so i'm not going to go over much of this day because it was fomc so i don't really care about it so let's go to tuesday right tuesday the day before fomc don't expect too much right i took a short up here <clears throat> don't believe me come to the discord and you can check out my chart executions right here this high is turtle souped what would i use the bodies why i would not be expecting a large expansion so i would use the bodies where do we go negative two two and a half accumulate the entirety of the day and then we don't do anything until literally we don't we just stay there in negative two two and a half turtle soup low. do we hit negative three and a half no we just go back up we don't really do anything this day why it's the day before fomc but as you can see we hit negative two two and a half right there boom i wonder if there was something on the one minute down here at this no it's just straight down so this week i wouldn't ex like i wouldn't expect too much because it was fomc week so right here uh i would assume we have an smt at that high we can check it out Okay, so let's go to time. Let's go to Monday. Okay, so there's not any. Uh, I would use this anyways. And we get right there above negative two. But I wouldn't use or I wouldn't really expect much once again because it's the week of FOMC and a Monday. So let's go over two more examples of this and we'll do friday and thursday so what do we see right here with this move lower accumulating the entirety of this wow it's pretty much just all accumulation so accumulate manipulate do we have a key level down here actually it's friday i remember we had an smt down here right we had an smt down there so what's our manipulation like this high to this low what do we measure this high to this low 
we do not get there quite to that high oh we have one on the one minute okay hold on the one minute has a manipulation and a swing point yep right there right what does this do at 10 a.m we had news i'm guessing comes up hits negative two to the tick it hits negative two takes this high retraces smt's this low i remember because i took a trade uh here actually and then where do we go go up to this high take these highs and do we hit negative three to the four zone yes we do we get up there to the negative three and a half to negative four area boom so we had this area on the one minute that had the manipulation leg i wouldn't use the five minute because the one minute had a clear swing high to swing low so let's go over to thursday okay here we are on thursday this is going to be the last example all right so what do we have right here accumulate manipulate taking out this swing low let's go down to the one minute swing low swing high where do we go negative two negative two and a half so as you guys see it's super simple um really simple uh we take these swing lows so you could even measure this one right here where do we go negative two two and a half don't get up there to negative three i wonder right here right there we take out this swing high hit negative two two and a half or a trace and then we close out so you can literally use this on any swing point to get a idea of where we are going to be going and reversing or retracing from in price depending on our draw on liquidity which will be in a few videos so this is the standard deviations price projections super simple hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm out peace